Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I want to talk about the line chart that you can create in ggplot and all of the customizations that you can do to make it more beautiful and meaningful for your end user. So first of all, the com we need to import the library which is ggplot2 and here in this case we will use the data set which comes with ggplot2 and its economics. So if you want to see the couple of rows related to economics data set here is the data set which has date pce pop psa word unemployed all of those things if you want to look at into more details you can put question mark and say economics and it will show you all of the information so here date is basically month of data collection psa word is basically personal saving rate which is this this is the personal saving rate pce is personal consumption expenditure personal consumption consumption expenditure unemployed is basically number of unemployed in thousand which is this u mpad is median duration of unemployment in weeks which is this 4.5 weeks 4.7 weeks 4.9 weeks so on and so forth and POP is total population in thousand, which is this. So this is the total population in thousand uh, when they collected the data or on which you know they collected the data. All right. So what we want to do is first of all we want to create a line chart. So let's create a very simple line chart by going into the ggplot and saying economics is the data we want to use, and within the aesthetics we want to say x-axis and y-axis so our x-axis is nothing but the date so x is equals to date and y is equals to let's say we want to draw a line chart on unemployment unemploy so after this if we hit enter it will show you nothing under unless we will add the line chart which is nothing but geom underscore line so once we hit that it is showing us the addition because I have not closed the uh, one of the parentheses over here. So I'll just escape this and again put the arrow, up arrow to get the get into the last command and I just close the bracket and hit enter. So that's how you can see that when the years are passing by, the unemployment rates are increasing. So that's a very good pictorial representation of how the unemployment rate is increasing and that may be a cause of uh, worry for our governments to look at. All right, well, that's a separate thing altogether, but we are here focused of focused on how we can make it more and more meaningful and useful for our end users. The next thing here in this chart we can look at it is maybe the color of the line. So here in this case, within the GOM underscore line, we can give the colors, color, uh, parameter in the R is equals to red and hit the enter button and very easily it shows the red color so that's a simple customization that we can do and change it according to our needs or organization requirement of using the standard colors for us the next customization we can do is maybe related to the line width which is nothing but the width parameter or basically the size parameter I would say it's to 1.5 here in this case now it is more visible so 1.5 if you think is really going high then you can again enter and make it like a little bit less uh, strong the next thing we can do is changing the scale let's say we want to just see the data from 2000 up till the date so here in this case, we can use the x continuous axis parameter to add it to it. So we will use the last command and we will hit plus and we will enter scale underscore x underscore continuous and we will hit the breaks to create the bins and we will write seq within the sequence we will write let's say right here in this case we want to start from 2000 to let's say 2014 and we want it by 
each one each break by one so for 2000 to 2014 all of the web all of the year values will be shown in this case after this let's hit enter so origin must be supplied as it is saying so it is maybe because of uh, the type of format which is over here so what we can do is we can use an alternate option in this case and what we can do is we can subset the data which is like another technique here in this case which is what we are saying is economics dollar date is greater than or equals to within the double quotation 2001 one that means show us all the dates which is beyond uh, 2000 greater than or equal to uh, first of Jan 2000 so once we and I will just put the comma that means we want to filter these rows and want all the columns and hit enter we get all the data here in this case starting from 2000 till the end so with that you can specify uh, further parameters or for other values about how you want to subset the information and want to see it on the plot the next thing you can do is uh, store this entire information in an object for further operations as you can see the, the, the command is expanding a lot and what we can do is we can store it in an object which is let's say line underscore g or maybe line underscore gg and let's first get the function and edit and then go ahead and use line underscore gg and enter this entire information so what we are doing it here we just got the previous function by using the up arrow from the keyboard and then prefixed it by this command which is saying uh, store this means this is the equal to store this value into uh, line underscore gg so once we enter this line underscore gg is created and we are saying line underscore gg now we can keep on adding it so we don't have to write this entire details but let's say we want to add the title the itoe gg title uh unemployment between 2000 and 2015 maybe we want to add the x and y value so we will add labs x is equals to years and y is equals to unemployment hit enter now we get unemployment between 2000 2015 this is the unemployment and this is the years so the idea i wanted to show you is basically how you can store the entire object information in a smaller object or this entire function information in a smaller object and keep on adding the details even what you can do is you can store all of this information in a next object and keep on adding to that in that way suppose if you want to make some want to make some changes you can always go back to a previous object and keep on experimenting with that in that way you don't have to rewrite the entire command or you know change it entirely but you are just playing with the objects which is making the life easy when you have really really complex data or really really complex uh, charts to make the next thing is about uh, adding the themes as i have shown in my previous video you can change the themes also so for example here let's say i want to change the theme to black and white i can change it to a black and white if i want to change it to a economist or i can change it to economist if i want to change it to 538 i can change it to 538 theme so you have a lot of options when you say themes so once you enter theme underscore choose base class classic dark if you want to show you the dark that's how the dark theme is looking like not so good but maybe in certain cases it may look good and a lot of options like excel few foundation gray map so you can play around with this I am leaving it with all these details and uh, that uh, I want to conclude and thank you for watching this video.